Uh, good afternoon, my name is Elijah, and we're going to be going over my town-based school project for where I've been implementing my feature. So I got the idea from this bunch of um, tower defense game, turret games, and I just thought I was like, kind of looks interesting to implement. So. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, demonstrate. Okay. So here is the first component right here. And I'm just going to push it over here. To break that. And they do disappear after do that, that. Do that. Okay, and now we have kind of the different turret as well that will when it overlaps, it will kill the player. Yep. So let me go into the editor here and show this and demonstrate. Okay, so here is all the blueprints I'm using. Uh, let me just close this out. And we're going to start uh, with the base turret that I started off with. BP underscore turret. I was having problems with the um, mesh not like you can just walk through it. So at the start, begin play, we are making sure they can't walk through the turret and they can't enter it. Um, so we're gonna, and, um, we're gonna spawn that, uh, to get it to fire, it uh, will only fire when BP underscore battery, and then go ahead and open, open that one. This is the base battery I started off with, the start everything off with. here okay there we go okay so this is the base battery i started off with once this battery is overlaps with the uh, turret the turret has its own spear or collision it is going to is going to well, first we get the actor's location and the rotation, and then we have a cube here that is invisible. Oh, well, well this depending on where you want it to shoot, you need, you can have an invisible. Um, and this it spawns from there, comes out. Uh, it's in range and that's pretty much about it for the turret um, for the battery once it's in the range of the turret depending on like which one because there is two that I have the one that the cube one only works for the cube turret and the um, square one only works for like the regular one um, or rectangle um, let's see and yeah it's just gonna put right or wrong Later, I can change it to something else, like maybe like colors or something like that. But for now, it's just prints if it's uh, wrong or right. I want to bring it, right, it's a big turret. 
once you do get it right, it's going to destroy itself after three seconds. So that's the turret. Um, and this one does the same thing. Both batteries do the same thing. So that's both the batteries. And this is the uh, destructible cube that you saw. On uh, once the ammo overlaps with it, the cube has a collision as well. Once the ammo hits that, it is going to set its visibility to invisible and and allow the player to enter. So I'm starting off on begin play, it makes sure it can't enter. It can't enter, make sure that's false. And yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I was having a problem with this, destroying the the actual tile that I was sitting on, so I had to do some I had to do this to kinda we'll go over that. Okay, so turrets, turrets, we went over that, 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 we need to go over the ammo, and so this is the other turret that on begin play is good, we're going to set shooting to true, and if shooting is true, we're going to spawn BP, uh, BP ammo one, and on a, it's going on a vent tech, so, but we're going to, we delay it. So it doesn't like it spaces out the shooting, and also we're doing the same thing here, getting the world location, getting the rotation, and yep. Yeah. Okay, and now let's go over to the ammo. Okay, for the regular ammo that destroys the uh, the the walls. Uh, we are just getting a forward vector, multiplying it, and setting a, the, the location. Or not setting it, but. Uh, where's it at? Where's it at? Big graph. Okay, yep. And we got the speed right here that we can modify and change. Make it slower or faster. Uh, and the, if this overlaps with the wall. It's just going to destroy itself. And then ammo one. Ammo one works a bit different. It's still the same thing with the vent take and moving forward. But when it overlaps with the player, the spear, it's a bit, I made it smaller it's inside the, uh, the, the spear, but it's, Oh, so that over here with the player. It will reset the level. And where's this at? And this one does the same thing here. If I wanted to destroy walls, it could. And this one is just also destroying itself after. If it overlaps with something, it's going to wait a second and then destroy itself. Uh, yep. 